you know, pushing those turns and taking the turns as tight as you possibly can with the instructor, you know, giving you direction. It just was absolutely you know, exciting and unbelievably fun. Because each time you go, you think you can, you know, okay, I'll take the, the next lap a little faster, or I'll, you know, I can grab that turn a little bit better. But it's definitely fun, and you know, you do get that adrenaline rush where you want to just go again and keep going. Um, so it's fun. I could see how you'd want to keep doing this. So after after seeing that, after seeing the cars, you know, race around the track a little bit this afternoon. And then when I was able to finally get behind the wheel and experience it myself, it was, you know, it, it definitely exceeded what I'd imagined. I mean, it, w it shouldn't have been a surprise because he prepared us for it, but I, I don't think you can prepare for that without actually experiencing it. I think when you, when you start out with the R8, you've got to start with its construction, and that is it's an all-aluminum car. And, and that's fairly unique in the marketplace. And what that allows you to do is make a car that is very, very stiff, but also relatively light. So that's the backbone of the car, the frame of the car. And then you put in the Quattro drivetrain, which is a fantastic drivetrain, which means it's an all-wheel drive car, but in the R8, it's biased to have most of the drive towards the rear wheels, typically about 80% or so. And so you have a very rear-wheel drive feel and balance with the vehicle, but you also have the security of an all-wheel drive system. And that means whether if it's inclement weather or just how the car approaches its limits are very easy to understand, to decipher, and therefore control. Sports car experience is an opportunity for drivers, any driver, to come out, experience Audi's highest performance cars on a racetrack, and drive them as fast as they're comfortable driving them. The 1960s, um, a lot of great races have happened here. Um, it was one of the first places that NASCAR started road racing. We chose Infineon Raceway because it is, uh, it's one of America's great road racing circuits. Uh, it's incredibly organic. 2.52 miles rolling through the hills. Uh, it's got over 160 feet of elevation change. The first time we did a program here, we had Audi's chief driving instructor worldwide come out and uh, we gave him the keys to an R8, said just take a few laps, see what you think. He came in three laps later, pulled up next to me, looked at me, and I think for a German this might be the, uh, might be the ultimate compliment. He said it's like a small Nürburgring. Yeah. 